Hey, Scott. I loved our conversation today. Thank you very much for picking my brains. Um, here's a summary of uh, some of the stuff we talked about and some ideas kind of that stayed with me that marinated after our call. Um, you'll see I'm connecting here to nerd fighters and don't forget to be awesome and uh, how George Carlin threw out his material every year, uh, pinball art, uh, <coughs> added, <coughs> excuse me, added your play pledge and then connected that to play is essential to well-being, which I put under play and subjective well-being, where there's a whole bunch of stuff, so you can you can follow that up. But also connected it to the play bow, which how did I never know about the play bow? But uh, basically, it's sort of uh, maybe um, let me go play is essential play <clears throat> uh, playfulness, and let's attach the play bow to playfulness. So. Uh, we've got that and your the logo for your pay pledge includes homage to your dad's dog uh, which loved to do the play bow. so that, that was just lovely to discover um, really kind of what we were trying to figure out was how to find your upward spiral and i think the with the caveat that monetizing labors of love feels like it corrupts them and that's a it's an issue for both of us we love doing what we do uh, when we start charging for it it feels strange and odd so Part of our quest was how to turn your making, which you do naturally, maybe a tiny bit obsessively like me, and you create sort of simple artifacts into passive income while feeding the commons still. And uh, I connected that to a thought that really is important in, my, in both of my brains, which is how do you build profitable businesses around abundance and the commons? And here, the story of open source is really interesting. So I had a whole riff on IBM adopting open source, uh, build loosely federated networks of deep support. Uh, is, is part of the advice from deep service out of the book, The Support Economy. Uh, let me connect that because it wasn't. And um, there's lots of different ways to go about this. But I think, I think if you could find that sweet spot where the things you do naturally in your communities that make you happy, you just continue doing. Uh, but then you you uh, find new platforms to like Substack or like uh, Courseware or other kinds of things. We can begin making some money for what you do. I think there's a lot of following for what you do. I think that um, you know systems thinking for young humans to make their lives better is a big thing. And you are a good guide for newbies in the systems thinking community. You're you're gifted for this. Um, Also, um, when I went into activity boxes for kids before our call, that was, this is kind of some of the research I did, I discovered Think Outside boxes, Little Passports, Kiwi Company, an article from Good Housekeeping called 33 Best Subscription Boxes for Kids in 2021. Um, I wouldn't dismiss some kind of subscription box or subscription package, surprise, envelope kind of thing. I think that that's a, a nifty thing and parents are always looking for interesting things to give their kids and if that interesting thing you give your kid is actually something that might help them become a critical thinker that's like a triple word score and we both love triple word scores it's when, when you have a tile on the board that works in several different ways uh, that's really fantastic so I also added uh, your rules for a good project. So, you know, it should meet the 80-20 rule, not have, not require a deep dive. It shouldn't have parts that we combine. And this idea about learning something once and then using it in many places. And that factored a lot into my thinking about um, how you might find your upward spiral. The, the upward spiral part of it comes from the rec recombination of elements, comes from the building of community, comes from the doing something with passion and then getting paid uh, at the second degree of it, not in the first degree of it, if that all makes sense. Uh, so I think we agree that life is short. Uh, here's a whole bunch of other things. So I did not actually, I had a lot of these thoughts were in my brain, but they were not connected to the notion that life is short under life advice, where I have a ton of stuff. There's a lot under life advice and living a full life and so forth. Um, so that might be a, an interesting place for you to wander around. Uh, all in all, I will attach our call, uh, the video of it, when I've uploaded it to YouTube here to this thought. So when you come back into my brain, you'll find it there. Uh, thank you so much. It was just a real treat, um, a treat to talk with you. And, and as I kind of said in the middle, that one of the 
most wonderful things anyone can ask someone to do is to help them steer their life energy. Uh, and it was an honor to do that with you. So thanks, Scott.